Um, I'm here because I want to show you a comparison of the menus between Wheels um, and C64 OS. So I've actually got a long list of things to go over, so I'm, I've, got a, I've got some notes here. So let's open a menu. Okay, so the first thing we notice is the draw speed. Wow, it's, I mean, yes, I understand. This is bitmapped, but let's face it. These bitmaps are very slow to draw on an unaccelerated Commodore 64. Okay, so uh, now one of the things that's difficult to notice here is the actual behavior. I'm gonna click down. Okay, so the menu actually opened on mouse down. Now, now my mouse button is held down, but if I move the mouse around so I don't get any rollovers, first of all, and if I mouse up, nothing happens on mouse up. Okay, so it must be that mouse down... Oh, okay, so mouse down triggered the menu option, but now my mouse button is down and I have to lift up and nothing happens, okay? So basically, everything requires a click, and but it triggers on mouse down. Let's see that again. Okay? <clears throat> so, now let's... So they're slow, and you have to do a full click in order to get into them. Now, this is kind of a bizarre behavior. If I accidentally overshoot this menu, the menu automatically closes. Whew. Okay, so that's a bit of a pain because, well, they're slow to open in the first place. So if I accidentally overshoot, I've really just shot myself because i got to open it all up again. Um, now, it gets even worse if there's a pop-out menu. So let's, uh, let's check this pop-out menu. Okay, so if I accidentally overshoot this, well, now they've both closed, and I have to do it all over again. So that overshooting is really kind of annoying. Um, okay, so this is kind of an odd thing that I noticed. So when we open this menu, you see that... Oops, all right, of course, if I go back into the menu bar, it also closes the, uh, the menus. Okay, so when the menu is open, you can see that this left edge of the root menu is perfectly aligned. This left edge of the root menu is perfectly aligned with this menu. But now, now let's open File. Yes, so we find that actually this is no longer aligned, okay? And this, it's close, but it's actually out by, I don't know, maybe two pixels or three pixels. So we'll go over to View. Oh, well, View looks really great. But Directory? Oh, that's weird. Okay, so the reason is because this is a proportional font. And depending on what the names of the root menus are, the, the edges of the root menus will fall on not, on not directly on pixel boundaries. Whereas these menus here, they, they must fall along a pixel boundary. So, you know, I, I mean, I understand why it happens, but it, it's kind of janky, if you ask me. Um, okay, so here's another, uh, here's another thing to point out about menus. We open this options menu, and we have several menu items here. We have copy settings, function keys, and so on. What's going to happen when I click on copy settings? Okay, so I'll click it. Oh, okay. So it opened, it opened a dialog. No problem. Let's go back here. Okay, copy settings, function keys. So function keys is going to open a dialog then? Oh, no. Function keys opens a submenu. Right. So the point is, there's no indication that something is going to open a submenu. So let's go to view. Okay, so single window, what's that going to do? Okay, well, oh, that put an asterisk on it, okay? But display mode, ah, oh, display mode is a, has a submenu, but there's, there's no indication at all of submenus, okay? So that's what I'm pointing out there. Now, here's another really weird thing that I, I noticed while examining these menus. We see we have uh, keyboard shortcuts. So we got Commodore X, and we've got uh, Commodore I and Commodore G, so that's pretty cool. This is very bizarre to me. Under the File menu, we have, um, say, Commodore E for Delete, and um, Commodore O for Open. Now we'll go to the Disk menu. We have another Commodore O, and another Commodore E, except that this Commodore E is for Erase, and this Commodore E is for Delete. But what, what, what's weird to me is that 
I mean, this is just incredibly not like the way menus work in modern operating systems, that you would have the same keyboard shortcut, is that a rename, Commodore R, and another rename, Commodore R. It's very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Okay, that's all I've got to show for that for now. So to recap, we've got our slow draw speed. We've got our pointers constrained to the box. We've got our full click. You have to always do a full click in order to pop these things open. We've got no rollovers. Um, we've got our, our odd menu alignment issue. We have our uh, failure to show any indication of the submenu. And we also have this very bizarre duplicate keyboard shortcut issue. All right, let's get out of here.